Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well today. It is already Wednesday, so happy hump day to everybody. Hump, hump away. I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul I'd like to share with everybody, and I am just going to jump right on into it. Okay, so I came across these sticky notes, which I think are super cute. You get 60 sheets in each package. They measure four inches by four inches. And the first one looks to me like a little terrarium. Very, very pretty. So they're all sticky ones. The next one I found, which is also 60 sheets, says I've got this. I actually got two of those because one of those is going in a friend mail. And then this one I think is just so pretty. It's just got these beautiful little flowers. You know, sometimes you just want to, sometimes I'll write a card out to somebody and I don't necessarily want to write in the physical card. So I'll put a pretty little stick it note in there, you know. I mean, you could use a post-it note, but I don't know. They're simple, they're pretty, they're cute. I also found, and I'm so glad I finally found these because these were actually on my wish list. I make comments all the time about the company Crown Jewels. Um, they're just one of the manufacturers that um, is carried by Dollar Tree and I just love everything they make. It's always such nice quality. And I'm a big fan for crossword puzzles. Um, actually, more so word search puzzles, the ones that you word search. Um, these are just simply so cute. You get, and by the way, they are Crown Jewels. Another thing I wanna point out, right there i'm so happy to see that and you get a total bear with me how many pages are in here because they have answers in the back 102 in each book so here's what the outside of the book looks like but what i thought was so cute i mean i love the fact they got the kiwis all over there but when i opened it up each page up here, like they all have little pictures of kiwis. I don't know, it's just something a little bit different that just makes the book pop, in my opinion. So I found kiwis, then I found this one that has peaches, and I did go through the books. They are all different. I thought, okay, because sometimes when you get like a bunch, you'll just get a cover that's different and not the inside. Each book is different. So here's the one that's all done in peaches. And here is what the peaches look like. So I'm referring to the pages over here. And then, I don't know how many, actually there must be only three to this. Oh no, I might be missing one. It looks like I'm missing one that has strawberries because I was looking on the back here, the different ones that you can find and it looks like I'm missing the one that has strawberries on it. But I did find the pineapple one. Again, you know, made in the USA, very happy to hear that. And then look at all the little pineapples. So if you're a pineapple person, too adorable, right? I love doing these. If um, I'm on a plane or if I'm in a vehicle for a long period of time, and I'm not driving. I have to have something to do. Usually I'm driving because I'm not really a good passenger at all. Um, Jot. These are three 50 sheets and they are five by eight. I thought, you know what? For that price, you really can't beat it. So you're getting 50 pink, 50 blue, 50 yellow, and they're lined. So I did grab two of them because I'm going to give a package to Grandpa because always looking for paper always 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 and i thought you know what that's perfect he can put a pad by his phone he can put one in the shop and i neglected to show you one other set of sticky notes this is another design and i just failed to show it to you and it says be inspired and it's in that shape there with all those different kinds of triangles my bad Alrighty, a couple new face masks. This one is Broadway Beauty. Bamboo Facial Sheet Mask. 
Dermatologist tested pore minimizing charcoal. So it is supposed to draw out any impurities and renews your skin. There is what it looks like. So that was a new one. And this one here looks like you're getting a two for one. And it's actually a brand name, which is Biore. And you get step one, you get a mask. And then step two, you get a charcoal strip for those nasty blackheads. So that's cool. If you want to share it with someone, it does have a perforation in the back where you can either split it and share it with someone. Or if you don't want to do both at the same time, you don't have to open the whole thing. That's a pretty good idea, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are kicking in. Um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, um, I think I even put one. I think I might have put one on Facebook, too. I was visiting my friend Chester today. And um, if you follow me on anything, I did a little short video of me and Chester. I found Bolero. Bolero is always an awesome buy at Dollar Tree because Bolero products are a brand name and they can be very expensive in regular stores. I found a couple paper masks, um, but what I'm going to show you first is the first one is paper mask, which is rose water and aloe. You get one mask, but then they also had the matching face wipes in a 30 count package and I thought, well, how just cute is that for a gift or something? So I got the matching set. I also found the same thing in watermelon and sweet mint. So I found the face mask by Bolero as well as the wipes. Just a cute little something something, you know? You don't have to break the bank to put together something cute especially from Dollar Tree. These, I think, can be used for a multitude of purposes. Um, I just think they're kind of fun. They say that they're tech cases, but when you open them up, first of all, they're like a, a hard vinyl kind of. I mean, you could squish them if you tried. They zip all the way around, and then they fully open up. So, yes, we have Mickey Mouse ears. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? M-I-C. Okay, how can I do that when I have a Snoopy on? All right. Anyways, so on this side, you know, it's all nice and, and fluffy. And then on this side, obviously, it's meant for, like, earbuds or things like that. But you can put anything you want in here. Um, If you... The possibilities are endless. Um, so many different things. Contact lenses in a little container. Obviously not with the fluid in here. But just a little something, something you want to put in your purse. Whether it may be some medication. Anything. If you want just, you, you're going out for the night and you don't want anything big to carry. Pop some couple bucks in there. You could probably even fit a debit card in there if you wanted to. So I found one in this pattern. They had several patterns, and I just picked up three different ones. For those of us who like flamingos, there's a flamingo one. And did I give you a measurement? I did not. My bad, my bad. They are four inches all the way around. And pineapples. I think this is my favorite one. And this is a dark blue. I'm not sure if that's coming across on screen or not, but it is dark blue. And I have to say the zippers, the quality of these, I was looking at it and like kind of really getting into it and looking at them. They're really nice. They did a really good job. The pocket is nice. Um, yeah, they did a great job. So kind of cool. And like I said, you can put all kinds of things in there. I did find some new candles. Whoop, whoop. These are made by a company. I have no idea because I can't read it. They're three ounces. <laughs> they're in these glass jars and they're just, they're three ounces more and they're like a squatty version than a tall version, but I think they're so pretty. You can use the label in the front if you want. If not, then just flip that baby around. But this one is called, are you ready? Banana Blossom. I was like, what? Banana Blossom? I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Uh, Patty? Banana Blossom. Girlfriend, that happens to be one of Patty's favorite flavors, by the way. So I just let out a secret. I hope I didn't. Anyways, Patty loves banana 
flavored stuff. Um, so you got to look for that girl. The next one is Tropical Fiesta. Mmm, it's got like a, I was like, here, smell. That'll be here before we know it. Like a fresh fruit smell. Fresh fruit. And I just love these jars. They're so cute. They're just little short and squatty kind of. Also came across this one here, which is Pineapple Punch. And there's that one. And it definitely smells like pineapple. And they got just these little kinds of lids with these little rubber things that lock down on there nice and tight. Last but not least, this one is Salted Watermelon. Oh, now I have a question. I have never put salt on a piece of watermelon, but I have heard that if you put salt on your watermelon, it actually makes it taste better. And I believe that also is for cantaloupe and honeydew. Has anybody ever done that? Just curious, hit me up below, let me know. Alrighty, I did come across some more of the Kiss Nail Glue. So since I've purchased so many different new sets of nails, I know I'm gonna need it. So this is the larger size in the Kiss, which is the um, three grams. So it's like triple the size they normally sell. So, and I know from a lot of people that I spoke with, they said this was a good one. So I grabbed myself two of those. I found some eyelashes. I have a set put to the side, um, a set that's in the mink because I've been promising that I was gonna do a review um, on doing a pair of eyelashes because I have never in my almost 55 years of life, um, actually it's birthday month, woo, uh, um, actually my 55 years of life, I have never, ever, tried to put on fake eyelashes because God blessed me with very long ones. And when I add mascara to my own, they're like, they hit my glasses. They're so long. So I'm very thankful for that. But I do want to do a review and have some fun at the same time because I have no idea what's going to happen. But I found these and these are made by LA Colors. Now you get one set and this first set, uh, these do not say anything about being mink or anything like that. They do say they're easy to reply and reusable. This one is called Desire. Then we have Dashing. There's a good shot. I was trying to get that glare off for you. Then we have Designer. And we have Divine. We have Dazed and Confused. Great song by Led Zepp. Yes, I am a Leadhead. Always have been, always will be. And then these are LA Colors. Um, One says Lash Trios and one says Individuals. And man, I can't even imagine trying to put these suckers on. To me, these look like furry anchio and a little, 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 little. Okay, blooper. Oh my gosh, blooper, cut it out. No, they just happen to be there. <coughs> um, These look like anchovies. I hate anchovies. Ooh, they're like furry little things on your pizza. Who wants those furry little things? Anyways, this one is called Individuals. And this one is called Lash Trios. And I'm just noticing that up there in the corner, it looks like there's one missing. So darn, man, I got ripped off a little thing of eyelashes right there. I didn't even notice it unless it fell off in the package somewhere, which I guess is possible. But anyway, so I grabbed me those. I can't even imagine trying to put all that on. Eee, I'd go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. Oh, this is nothing real exciting. I dropped my phone. I do it all the time, not on purpose. Big, huge crack. I'm like, oh, please, God, no, don't do this to me right now. Thank God I had my screen protector on. I could not tell you how many times these protectors have saved my butt. This one fits XR and 11, mine's an 11, a dollar, 
they're easy to apply. A lot of people have issues applying these. It's because you're trying too hard. You got to put it on and just leave it alone. Forget about all the squeegee and other bubbles. You don't need to go all that way. It's way too complicated for instructions. They really get people confused. Um, if you want a video of me doing my phone, let me know and I'll film it. Okay. This was kind of cute down the kitty kitty aisle. And when I don't say kitty kitty, I don't mean kitties. I mean toys. Kitties like me. All right. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. These guys are made by Mattel. I found four of them. I don't know how many there are. They are three inches in height and they all stand on their own because they have a base on the bottom. So we have, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these dudes' names. So here we go. We have this guy. And there he is. Arr, he looks kind of mean. And then we have a Velik. Yeah, I'm not doing the names. I'll just screw them up. They all look kind of mean. I guess dinosaurs aren't, aren't supposed to be nice, are they? And then we've got this guy here. And this is a brand name. So Mattel, that is a brand name. There's the glare off a little. Maybe I can go a little closer. There you go. There's a good shot. Last but not least, this one who, again, I don't know. He looks more of like a lizard than a dinosaur, but I guess that would be the same family. So there's that. Alrighty, moving on. I have to pull. Not so bad. I tried to, to get a little bit better. Um, nothing super fancy, but Glade Hawaiian Breeze. I got myself one of these, and I have it in the room, uh, the other room, and I'm telling you, it smells wonderful. The throw is delightful. I've had it in there for like three days now, and I just bought two, and I forgot to show it because it was really no big deal. And so far, so good. It's nice. Um, usually when you put those things up within, I don't know, 15 minutes, you don't smell nothing anymore. All right, let's uh, switch. Oh, let me share this. I found this. Grandpa is going to flip when he sees this. General Mills, family size. Cinnamon vanilla Lucky Charms. OMG. Big old box. One pound, 2.6 ounces. I mean, that is a big one for sure. It does have um, active box tops on top. It is good until October 27th of 20... Wait a minute. October 27th of 2020? Okay, we have a problem here. October 27th of 2020? Okay, you all seeing what I'm seeing right there? So it's not me, right? It is 2021? Huh. Well, even the Dollar Tree cannot sell food that is expired because they could get in really big trouble for that. So I am shocked. I do know the store manager at this store, so I am going to have to pull her butt to the side and go, yo, no, no, no. That is such a big no-no. Okay, so please learn from my mistake. I am such an expiration date checker, it's not even funny. I cannot believe that got past me. The only reason I can say it got past me, and I'm not trying to justify it, I've got a massive migraine. That doesn't make it okay. That's the only thing I can think of that, that would make me get that without checking the date because... You can ask anybody. I'm one of those that flips back and gets the best date kind of people. That blows my mind. That is going back because I have my receipt right here. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's going back to a store that's uh, near me. So, wow. A little bit taken back there. Expired. Wow. And I did. I literally just got it today. Here, it, uh, let me see if I can highlight it with, with Rizzo. I don't even mind showing the store because you know what? It's, it is what it is. Here it is right. It's going to be right underneath, right on top of my ruler right there. And there's the store. 
So Andrea, um, she's close to that store. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me switch gears a little. That really frustrates me. It annoys me. It aggravates me and it pisses me off. All right. Crafter Square stickers. Just a few, not too crazy here. All right, these are all going to be considered puffy stickers. This one you get 17 pieces and check out those all different kinds of shapes of the moon and our Earth's orbit. So for someone that's like all about that, super, super cute. And then we have 13 puffy llamas. And we also have a couple little cactus trees. Really cute for the llama peoples. And then we have my favorite. Who doesn't love... Whoops, they're sticking together. Hold up. Who doesn't love balloon dog animals? What is up? Oh, there we go. You get 16 of these little guys. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Love them. And then we have 15, and we're still on puffy stickers, 15 of the seashells. Really cute. And we have 13 for those butterfly lovers. Again, these are Crafter's Square stickers. So if you don't have a Crafter's Square in your store, most likely you're not going to find those. This is the last one, and I believe I've shown you all this before, but I wanted to get another one because I have um, some mail going out for some certain people. All the giveaway mail has been sent out. Um, speaking of that, um, oh, you guys got to keep your eyes open. I'm telling you, keep your eyes open. Um, so this one is 16 pieces. I just love this little candies, the heart. I, I just think it's so cute. I love the lollipops. Okay, now these stickers that I'm going to show you are all by Jot. So Jot being Jot, you're going to find these at any Dollar Tree store. These are all considered puffy stickers as well. These are decent sized stickers too. Let me just get an mm, inch and a half. The first, actually, let me save those for back because those are my favorite. So this first one here is puppy dogs. I'm going to bring it in nice and close because they all have like little, little sayings on them. So I'm just going to bring it up nice and slow. That's one pissed off puppy. <laughs> and then we have, this looks like to me, like these are little hedgehogs. <clears throat> Again, they're all puffy. So cute. And then we have little piggies. Oh, those are adorable. Look at the little pigs. My sister likes piggies. And then we have, are these gophers? I think they're gophers. Maybe they're beavers. I'm not sure. But she gets uh, nine in there. They're either gophers or beavers. I'm not sure. And then we have elephants. And they really are squishy and puffy. They're quite nice. And they have a really, the whole back side of the sticker is one big solid sticker. So they hold really well. Now this is my favorite, so I did get two. Can you guess why? Because they're unicornies, that's why you get nine. Oh, look at these guys, they're so funny. I was like, I have to have two of these guys because I will fly through them super fast. Alrighty, also, oh, ooh, I needed some A1 <laughs> steak sauce. Um, I have to have my steak sauce. I, you know, I need my steak sauce. Um, A1, you can't beat it. It's a five ounce, it's a regular size bottle for a buck. You know, let me check the date now. Now I'm all freaked out. Uh, December 28th of 2022. Okay, we're good. That cereal's really got me. Uh, I'm going to do some bitching. I really am. Picked up some new tissue paper because I thought this was so pretty. What I liked about this is you don't get screwed and get a couple sets of white. You actually get blue, these stripes, pink, and then this like little bubble 
kind of design. A lot of times when you get packages like this, you'll get like one or two great patterns and the rest is all white. <laughs> I don't fall for that one. I want all colors. When I'm buying the colored ones, I want all colors. Alrighty, these are really cool. Um, let me give you a measurement. These I'm gonna say for the most part, well, I just had to drop Rizzo, didn't I? Oh, Rizzo, Rizzo, Rizzo. Oh, Rizzo, Rizzo, not drop it once, but twice. Okay, these I'm gonna say, they're like a porcelain. No, they're not. More like a clay. Yeah, more like a clay. They measure four and a half inches in diameter all the way around and that is what it looks like. So you could put jewelry on it if you wanted to. You could put rings in it, you know, anything that you would like to do with it. I found one in white and then I found this one here in a very, very light gray. So I thought those were kind of cool and pretty. And we just put those to the side. I also picked up a few of these. I showed one of these to all of you around, I think it was Easter time. And what this does, I'm gonna open it up for you and show you because the packaging doesn't do it justice. What this is, <clears throat> is, let me just see if I can get it open before I, all right, so bear with me one second here. What this is, is like a supplement of, instead of using tissue paper, this is kind of almost better than tissue paper and you get so much. Wait until you see what comes out of this package. Okay, so basically what this is, here's the directions and what you're supposed to do. And this is what it looks like going inside your package. But, <clears throat> I just love these. These are so cool. So I've just taken it out of the package and it almost looks like a coil for like bugs or mosquitoes, you know, those coils. So what you do is at the top, there's going to be a little piece like that. You're going to grab it and this whole thing is going to come cascading down. And all you do, and let me show you all the different colors that are in here. What you do is you just, you can do a couple things. Sometimes when I don't want to do a big bag, I'll just snip off half of it. And then you, sh actually, you know what? Let me show you. Because I'm going to be packing up something. So I don't want to use this whole thing. So I'm going to go like up to here. I'm going to cut it with my scissors. And then I'm just gonna grab what I cut. Here's the other piece. And then what you're gonna do is just shake it up. I know, Patty, I hear Patty and Linda going, well, why don't you sing a song? Okay, so there is what it ends up. Look at how much you have here. Easter baskets. Now you've got something, you put it right in the top of a bag and you have all these beautiful colors hanging over. There's just so many things you can do with it. And you know, when it comes in a bag like that, these are way more than a buck. I can guarantee that. I've seen them as close as $3.99 in our local grocery stores. So just something totally for fun. Or use them and make them in a hallway. Use them up on walls. I mean, there's just so many different things that you can use them for. All right, I did get bad the candy department. No, I didn't get really bad. Actually, Grandpa got really bad. Okay, so, <laughs> I'll go, <laughs> excuse me. I'll go through it quick. M&M's. Um, Grandpa wanted some Mentos, the ones that were individually wrapped. So you get 23 pieces. Actually, these are really good. I'll probably end up grabbing some of those. And then um, had a milk chocolate thing going on. So I grabbed two more of the 2.26 ounce Dove milk chocolates. And then I got these for me because they're all grape. Oh my gosh, and that's one of my favorite flavors. So it's funny that they call them Jolly Joes. 
I don't know why they call them Jolly Joes. Why not Jolly Grapes? Because they're all great. Anyways, whoop, whoop. That's like a theater box size, man. 5.0 ounces. So, yeah, that's going to be yummy in my tummy. All right, where are we at time-wise? Boop. Okay. Um, I've got so much more. So, I'm going to go ahead and say good night for this one. And I'm telling you, that box of cereal is going to drive me nuts all night. Actually, here it might not. No. Well, yeah, no, maybe I still got time to call somebody. All right, everybody. Make sure you check your expiration dates. Don't let what happened to me happen to you. And I am like just blown away that that totally escaped me. I, wow. All right, everyone, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, there's like 24 hours left to claim that giveaway that's floating around. You got to look for it. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.